So I mentioned a while back, I actually made a video of it, that I was making mobility scooters for my parents. Um, I managed actually to build one um, and attach a motor that had been thrown out in someone's front yard, um, and it works great. These motors, these electric motors actually are pretty good, and I built two actually full scooters um, and modified a third. So this is what I've got. So these are their matching scooters. These, I can't remember the, the scooter company name, but they make these um, scooters with the front hub. And this is the one that I didn't build. So this is the one that we bought. And it had a weird seat on it with a post that came over and he had an option to have this seat. So I welded that seat on and that's an office chair um, just with some waterproof stuff on it. And you can see I broke some of the plastic on it that I'm fixing. Um, but I blew the motor in it after I put a lithium battery, I blew the controller. So I have a new controller for this one. This one just got a new controller. This is the one that currently works and we will take a video of it soon with it running. Um, I managed to get the reverse going, which this didn't have reverse to begin with. Um, so I was able to control and put in reverse in this one. Now this is the third one. This is our original scooter. Here's the problem. These two scooters, this is the good thing. These two have 350 watts. Perfect for mom and pops getting around town. Fine, right? Nothing, nothing weird about that. 2000 watts. Um, a lot more than what I thought this was going to be. So this wound up being motor in the rear, not in the hub in the front. Um, and, and definitely there's, there's advantages and disadvantages to both, but this one though goes up to 35 miles an hour. And I did not realize that. And the throttle on these, if you're thinking about buying these cheapo, uh, 2000 watt motors, if you're doing a go-kart, great. My foster son's actually going to drop the seat turn this into a go-kart. Um, these throttles are so, so touchy. You just barely give it a little bit of gas and it goes. Um, so that one's going to be turned into a go-kart. These two are for my parents. I purchased this one for $200 and the guy threw in the extra motor because he had it sitting in his front yard. It was locked up. Um, I was able to get it freely spinning and then just gutted it and wired it and it works um so we got very blessed there so i will take a video of uh someone riding it. yep this is an office chair again office chairs work great on these um as a seat as a cheap seat i'm not willing to spend 40 50 bucks for a seat i think this whole setup frame tires and all i think cost another hundred dollars so we paid two for this one. Let's say we'll split it. So $100 for this one. We're in this one $100 and another 100 for its frame, its chairs and everything. So as well as its brain, the brain was only 25 bucks. Um, the brain for this one, I cheaped out and I got a, I bought a bigger brain for this one. I wish I didn't put the floor on. Um, the floor just easily bolts down, but I got an El Cheapo uh $13 brain for that one. Um kind of regretting that. Uh this one actually came with the one that I ordered for this one. It came with some instructions, which normally they don't. So and it worked right out of the gate. And so I'm kind of scared when I go to wire this one that it won't. So we will see. But <clears throat> we'll get my foster son, get him out here so he can do a test drive. brakes aren't bad. Yeah, you got to go really slow on gravel or else it just wants to spin out. Oh, dude, take it. The backwards, it should go pretty fast backwards, I guess. Yep, there you go. And once you get it on the, the road, you'll notice like how much better it is. He's being timid. I 
I'd take it like go out to the school. That's what I did. I just went I, I just went and cruised and took it out to the school. Yeah, once you get it on the road, it feels so much different. Yeah, just go slow on the throttle. All right, he'll come back here in a minute. Oh, he's only going around. Okay. Do the brakes seem to work okay? Okay. Definitely has what? I said they, they work really well on my gravel brakes. Okay, so that was the end of the scooter ride. Um, he made it down to the school and back with that scooter. I will do an update on the other scooter. Um, I've got to get the controller switched in it in order for it to work so these scooters again are like keeping me busy all these projects are keeping me busy so that i'm not losing my mind due to health issues um so yeah hope you liked that video and i will do another video of the the next scooter that um gets its controller brain put in we will see how that goes